Hi, thanks for coming to the Web Engines Hackfest virtual this time. Hope to see you in person next time. Uh, in this in this session, we will be talking about uh, one use case for embedding Chromium uh, into AGL platform and how we have done that with the Web Application Manager. So first, uh, about what is uh, AGL? So Automatic Red Linux is a project by the Linux Foundation which is main goal was to uh, develop an entire uh, open source stack for the vehicle industry. Uh, you can check the different working groups, uh, events, calendar they organize, the, the meetings that happen weekly. All the information is there. All the development is done open and everyone is uh, welcome to contribute. So the idea behind it is that uh, there are several multiple several software layers that are integrated into the uh, common code base that is actually able to provide uh, different image versions for different parts of the components of a vehicle uh, infrastructure. One of them is the IBI uh, demo platform, uh, which is for the one we will be talking about. So this image basically includes the different uh, services that connect to the internal layers of the of the vehicle. A, an application framework, and on top of that, uh, uh, some application layer, which was originally Qt base, to show infotainment interface. Uh, basically, AGL provides this code base for different reference and community platforms that are supported for uh, different architectures, as, as ARM64 or Intel base, for hardware targets as the Renesas. Uh, R card, the M3 or H3, Raspberry Pi uh, for uh, QMU or several IMX. Details about the, the supported ones can be checked there. So which was the purpose of integrating a web runtime there? So basically it was to provide a way to have uh, web apps as first class uh, citizens on the ecosystem. They should be integrated seamlessly into the platform. And they should have the same, the same level of security of integration granularity as, as the other native uh, applications. So with this idea in mind, it should be possible to develop an entire HTML user interface for many obvious reasons. One of them was the capability to reach a wider scope of developers and the stakeholders willing to inter integrate web technologies into AGL. Of course, using the standard web technologies uh, with any capability of front-end uh, technology that could be used, and so the, also the ease of development, debugging, customization, and capabilities to towards the connected car industry uh, in in this ecosystem. So the way to go for this approach was using uh, the web application manager or WAM uh, to embed a Chromium uh, web engine into the platform. So basically, uh, the idea was using a WAM that was originally developed by LG for WebOS. Uh, it was already covering several of those functionalities, which was the capability to launch independent web apps, adding additional security level support, handling life cycle, depending on visibility status and memory management. That is that the capacity to show visibility of running different applications and dealing with uh, memory consumption and, and resources in general when they are not being played. And was required to uh, have some changes on top of Chromium to create the APIs to connect one on top of it. Doing this, uh, it was possible to target to a faster adaptation into the AGL demo platform and also to already wrap some existing uh, platform IPCs uh, and, and APIs to use with JavaScript. That was an easy way to get them running. So we just uh, had to modify the existing Yocto recipes that were in place for WebOS and adapt them to AGL and was already shipping uh, initial support for Wayland implementation that we were willing to use uh, in the different hardware devices to make the better use of GPU capabilities. So to do that, we define an architecture that was intended to have uh, just on top of the human machine inter interaction layer, the web apps that live there, that are the only ones that are talking to the to WAM through web sockets. So the connections with the internal layers are provided uh, with the application framework that is the same for native and web applications. WAM interface to Chromium is done through a custom libcve library 
that actually is the facade for doing that communication. And was initially integrated with the Western Wayland Compositor, but it's now running on, on a custom developed uh, by Collabora AGL uh, Compositor using LibWestern. So the current architecture simplified looks like this. So there's an HTML layer where the apps and services live that talk to the web application manager that does lifecycle, security checks, handling with the window manager, etc. And, and there's a connection point with Chromium through wrapping, wrapping with libcb the version of Chromium for WebOS that actually gets upstream Chromium uh, releases. Uh, so with this architecture, basically the main components we have is WAM, that is this thin layer, and the different repositories of uh, Chromium that are modified uh, to be able to connect them. And then all the adaptations that are done for it into uh, AGL uh, Garrett repositories. So all the change of dependency layers are available there. And, and we will be explaining that it can be possible for anyone to just compile and flash into an image or uh, put into a Kimu image and so on and, and test the ecosystem. Uh, just doing that, like uh, checking out the repositories, specifying the target architecture and building specifically the, the version of the HDL demo platform. So to see how it looks like, I'm showing a small video that presents that running. Like to present the work we have done for automotive grade Linux. Our work provides the capability of running independent web applications in the demo platform with different levels of permission while maximizing the performance on the different supported hardware devices. This is a pure HTML5 UI of the AGL demo platform running on a Renesis H3 board. This shows the home screen, the application launcher, and some sample web apps that demonstrate several features of the Chromium-based web runtime in the vehicle UI. We evolved the WebOSE Web Application Manager by LG to adapt it for AGL, integrating it with the AGL security model, application framework, and the Ozone Wayland Chromium implementation that Agalia developed. The Web Application Manager allows for isolation of different web apps so that they have their own level of permission and access to web sockets exposing JavaScript APIs with different services in the car. For instance, the HVAC application can communicate with the fan system of the vehicle, but other web apps without the same permission, for example a game, will never have access to those services. Here we can see how the performance of a WebGL game runs smoothly. This is a result of our implementation of Ozone Wayland in the Chromium upstream, which optimizes the usage of hardware acceleration. So to get any additional information on the specific uh, or more detailed information on how to create web apps, how the structure for them is done and how to integrate it into the platform, there are some available presentations online. One of the on the is the one that my uh, colleague and Tia Puentes and me deliver for the last virtual all members meeting and is available there. So how we get sync with upstream. So basically we are following the LG WebOS release cycle, which basically upgrades between different uh, upstream updates of the stable channel of Chromium. It was initially done for 53 and after that has been iterated into different versions, 72, 79, 84, and, and a few more recent ones now. Uh, so basically, uh, this happens after all the QA and specific platform changes for a uh, web OS happen. And after that, we are putting the adapting the AGL specific changes that have to be backported then uh, with as related with integration with the compositor, stripping out uh, queued dependencies that we don't have in the HTML version of, of one and etc. So we think it could be possible to make simpler the process of a uh, syncing page with upstream by keeping one, but considering to use an alternative approach to embed Chromium instead. So why not using uh, one on top of, uh, of, of CEF? Basically, uh, CEF is already uh, a Chromium embed framework. Uh, but it's already provided uh, some consolidated framework to 
for this specific scenario of embedding the uh, Chromium Web Engine, already widely adopted on many upstream projects. It has been getting like a lot of improvements on uh, some Wayland support uh, recently, uh, and it's synced with uh, fresh Chromium release channels and already providing a stable API, which is very important for, for this approach. So with this idea in mind, it should be possible to adapt our current architecture, that is the one that we was presenting uh, a while ago, towards a CF-based one, in which we still have web apps and services in the HCMI layer. We have one with all the integration inside, but the communication with WAM is directly with the Chromium Embedded Framework. Uh, which actually relies on internally on the Chromium Content API. But we wouldn't need to uh, keep m maintaining the uh, APIs that are exposed through Chromium to WAM separately, but we would, we would use setup one to use the standard ones provided by TEF. We think it's a, a really interesting approach because it could make possible to uh, simplify uh, the dependency cycles between the different upstream components that are being used. It could probably also allow to have uh, the web application manager to get a, a wider upstream use uh, capabilities. Um, and and it, it, as I was commenting, the stable API between WAM, WAM and CF would eventually make this, the delta much smaller because the majority of the work that would be needed on WAM to make it uh, connect to, to CF would simplify the needing of apporting changes into Chromium. And any additional support could be done still on top of WAM, but without the needing to uh, apply changes into the Chromium code base, which is the biggest source of Delta. So how we could explore a path for CF integration? Basically, uh, what we were willing to uh, explore was to actually be be able to build CF first uh, uh, library, slip CF using the AGL build system. So it's yeah, adapting the BitBake recipe. So that is can be done for the different supported hardware architectures with current Yocto version. Then we should be removing the dependencies on WebOS from WAM and make it compiling and linking with Libby CF instead. So yeah, there's there's some additional work that should be happening inside WAM to do that. And next, the uh, prototype could follow up just by making a proof of concept uh, with one being able to show a minimal view using CF instead of the Chromium uh, view provided by the WebOS version. And then we would have just to glue a few of the other pending parts that was integrating into the prototype, the rest of functionalities related with um, Com uh, component-wise uh, integration with a, a compositor, uh, any any security level integration either with SMAC, uh, SO, Linux, whatever should be put in place. And that was basically a reasonable plan which would make compatible uh, WAM with CF ecosystem and make them all just depend on them and be able to get a faster plan and uh, decoupling them so it should be possible to have one man as a standalone open source project that could be used for anyone so yeah that's that's basically the the plan uh, or this use case example that i wanted to share so yeah now it's time for questions or comments or whatever you think it's interesting thanks <laughs>